What is up Shark Army, it's your boy Shark and welcome back to my Stardew Valley 1.5 playthrough. If you didn't watch the last episode, make sure you go back and keep up to date where we are in this series. There'll be a link down below to the playlist, but we're going to get straight into it. It is Friday the 12th of summer. Let's check the weather right now. It's going to be, oh, storm tomorrow. Good, because we've got quite a lot of crops to water, so I'll take that. Although we might lose some of the, the thunder, but it's raining, that's fine. And we have terrible luck today, that's never good. But here we are on the farm, we've got a letter. Oh, it's from Mum, she's proud of us. Didn't even send us any money this time. Rubbish. Oh look, is that a red cabbage? It's getting there guys, our red cabbage is nearly done. But we have some other crops as well. Oh, Finn's already barking. We have got some hot peppers and our tomatoes are finally done. We do need some of these for the bundle or just one of them. Hello mate, good morning. We need our watering can. Right, so first thing I'm gonna do is sell all of these tomatoes. Actually, we'll keep a few because you never know when you're gonna need them. And it's always important. Uh, right, we need some, we're probably gonna need another chest. I'm struggling with space. Oh my God. Okay, so we need one tomato. We also need the sunflower, which is actually in here. So I'm going to keep those away because we do need them. This is all for the Cumin Center bundles. Now, somebody suggested in the comments on the last episode, if we create a wood path or some kind of uh, path on the floor, and if apparently if we place this down, this is just a test. Uh, if we put the sprinkler on top, Oh, see, there we go. It still doesn't work because obviously we can't use sprinklers in this soil here. So somebody suggested how about we try and place them down onto like a path or something. But it still doesn't work. We cannot use sprinklers anywhere on the sand. Doesn't matter what path or anything you use. We only can use it on soil. So I'm really struggling. Oops. I'm really struggling with uh, space. I need another chest. So I'm actually going to, before I water the crops, knock down a few more trees with our new copper axe. Uh, and get some wood. I'm going to build one more chest because things are getting a little bit manic in the ones we've got. Things are everywhere, they're very unorganized and yeah we're struggling with space so I'm going to craft one more chest for now. I know wood's quite crucial because we do need to get that barn soon. This, this last tree should be enough. There we go. I'm going to craft this chest and then we can start watering all of the crops. So this chest, I'm actually going to keep all of the monster loot in here and all of the minerals and artifacts and things like that we find. Anything from mining, because at the minute I was dumping them all in here and it was getting a little bit crazy. But this is like my resource chest. So things like wood, stone, copper, you know, all that kind of stuff. That's all going to go in there. Now I'm a little bit more organized. We've got a little bit more space. I feel a bit better. I feel good. So let's put that away. And I'll also keep the trash in here from fishing because this uh, obviously all adds up, and soon I'm gonna get a recycle machine for that. In fact, can we craft one now? We just need wood, stone, and an iron bar. It might be worth doing that, and also the worm bin, but we need a gold bar and 25 hardwood for that. So I'm gonna put two more iron bars in the furnace. We've got quite a lot to do this morning. I'm catching up. I'm quickly gonna knock one more tree down just to be able to craft this one recycle machine. It is Friday, the travel lady will be here. I mean, we've already got the red cabbage, but we can still pop down there and maybe try and like find some mushrooms that she sells or fruit or anything like that. Something that we can actually use for a bundle. So it is worth still going down. So as soon as these crops are watered and things on the farm's done, that's where I'm gonna go. So let me get sorted and organized here, guys. I'm a little all over the place. So I can now get the recycle machine, there we go. Just one, that'll do for now. And I'm gonna put that up here out of the way. And we can start recycling some of this. It's gonna be quite handy. I might actually build a chest here and put one right next to there for the trash. That'd be quite cool. Okay, the crops are all watered and sorted. I actually did a, a few more stuff here. I got this chest built. This is for all the, the fishing things, all the trash, for the recycle, any bait that we get. Even the fishing rod, if we're not using it, can be stored there, but I'm going to do a bit of fishing today. So I'm going to let the chickens out, and then we can actually move on with the day. Finn's all sorted, he's looked after, we've just got to let these chickens out for the last few hours. They should still graze and get some food, and let's see the travel lady right now, and do a bit of fishing down there, some foraging. Not much to do today, I had quite a lot to do on the farm, I wanted to get organised, because it's just messy, there was so much stuff in the chests, it was bothering me. Okay, and here we go, we've got spice berries straight away. Might be worth selling that. Get a bit of extra cash. We've also got a sweet pea. And here she is. So let's see if there's anything that we need. Right, straight away, there's a battery pack. I'm not sure if we're going to need that. 
I'll take a look. There's a lobster, puffer fish, a coconut, the eel's there. Okay, let me take a look, guys. So we've already caught the eel, we don't need to worry about that. The battery pack, I'm actually going to buy that, guys, straight away. Uh, I know we can get the lightning rod and there's a chance to get it, but it costs quite a lot of uh, resources to make one of those, and we can get it right away. So it's 1,500. I don't care. We've got quite a lot of money. I don't mind doing that. It's going to be a lot cheaper than getting the lightning rod, which we can't even craft yet. So I don't even know what skill we've got to be for that. I forgot. But you know what? That's something done. It's uh, a little bit costly, but I'm happy to be honest. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to scout around here, do a little bit more foraging, guys, see what I can find. And then I'm just going to spend a few hours fishing here. This is going to be day one done. I know it's a little slow, this one. We have literally done nothing. It was more of a day of organising. Hold on. Bubbles right here. Look at this. And this is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the night. But we've got lots of other stuff coming in the next few days. Of course they disappeared after one fish. Damn it. And some more just popped up as well right next to us. Let's take advantage of those. Please don't disappear. I want to use you as much as I can. Yes. Oh, this chest. Set. It's a bad luck day today. And we're still getting a lot of these chests. What do we get? Ooh, iron ore, frozen tear, and some bait. Let's put that on the rod. Let's carry on. I <laughs> know, they disappeared. They're not lasting very long, these bubbles. Not like uh, the ones we've had previously. We've had some good luck with those, but not today. There's another sweet pea just lying here. Let's get it. Get that foraging skill up as well. And that seems to be all there is. So I'm just going to spend the night fishing here. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. On the next day. And there we go. The night of fishing was done. We made 664 gold from it. Not too great. But that's the fish that I caught. I ran out of stamina and it got pretty late. But we made 1,257. So we kind of got our money back for the battery pack. Which is good because today I'm going to upgrade the axe, guys. That's right, we've got 6,000 gold just over. It's raining, we don't have to water the crops, and I'm going to upgrade the axe to the iron one so we can go into the secret woods as soon as possible. But we've got some crops today. Look at this. We've got some uh, melons. This is good. We actually need one of these for the bundle as well. And if you know it's done, all the hops are ready. Nice. Okay. The thing is with summer. It takes a while for the crops to actually uh, to grow. So summer crops, we've got the tomato stored away, the hot pepper's done. We need the blueberry, that's going to be done in a few days, uh, and one melon. And we need five hops, so we need two more, and that is done. Actually, one more, because I can stack the gold one as well, I believe. Let's keep that one melon. We'll sell these, this is going to be a big boost of money to help us with uh, losing the money today for the axe, axe upgrade. So we've got four gold... Now, I will keep some away to put into our little fruit production thing when we get the kegs and the preserve jars. We can craft these very soon, actually. I'm going to do that so we can start boosting our profit. Let's go check on the chickens and then we can get cracked on with the day. Oh, yeah, my mayonnaise is done. I put these on last night before we went to sleep. We've got gold quality mayonnaise because of the large eggs. Obviously, give you gold quality. Okay, they're all happy. Just going to need to feed. There's for some reason one food disappeared. They've all got one full heart. Not bad. So if we put the two large ones in there, we'll get the good quality mayonnaise. That's what we want. Now, I've got some flour. I'm going to give this to Haley today. I've got some sweet peas to give around as well. And a poppy for Granny Evelyn, because she likes flowers, right? So we can go and give some gifts today. Now, I'm going to go ahead and buy some more wheat as well today, because we've not got much, and we need quite a bit for one of our bundles. We need 10 wheat and 10 hay for the fodder bundle. And then we need 100 wheat flour, so yeah, okay, that's going to be tough. We can buy it at the shop, but it's probably going to be expensive. So let's get into town, guys. Let's go ahead and get started with the day. Very early. I love that we don't have to water the crops. We'll go and give... Can Linus have his gift today? Yes, he can. We've got one horse radish. Oh, two left. I'm going to give him one of them. And we've got a leak for George. Yeah, everyone's going to be happy today. I see some wormies, and we've not been this way yet, so there should be some forage. We've got two sweet peas. Wow. Let's go. What can we get here? Ooh, the prehistoric tool. This is a new one. I'll take that. Oh, here's Shane. Moody boy. Why are you bothering me? I want to be alone. Stuff you, Shane. We'll always be enemies. I don't want to talk to you. I ain't got the time for you. Okay, so let's go to Pierre's first whilst it's um, just about to open. I want to get these wheat seeds. 
you guys was uh, reminding me to buy this, to buy more of these, so let's do it. Now, the best thing about these is obviously they go straight through to fall as well, so it's no like desperate need to get them, but the five gold guys, you know, let's get 30 of them, why not? There we go. That's going to sort us out later today. Let's go see George and Evelyn. Uh, there he is. Let's talk to him. The weekend is no different than any other time for me. So here's his leak. This is my favourite thing. Thank you. You're welcome, George. You enjoy watching your programme there. Uh, be careful out there, dear. You could get sunburn. Well, not today, Evelyn. It's absolutely pouring down of rain and thundering. So I don't think that's a problem today. There's a poppy. Oh. Oh, no. Evelyn don't like poppies. No, God, please, no. 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 Oh, no, guys. It's took away a heart. It's summer spangles and sweet peas. I can't believe I did that. I know someone likes poppies. <laughs> I think it might be actually uh, Penny. I think it's Penny. Oh, well. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. <laughs> that sucks. Here is Penny. Speaking of her. I'm going to go inside. I just wanted a quiet moment. Enjoying the rain? Hey, there's nothing better. Especially in summer. Summer rain is like so good. It's one of my favorite times uh, when it rains. So here is Clint. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Steel Axe, it's 5k. So it's quite hefty. But you know what guys? It needs to be done. We can get access to that secret woods in a few days. So uh, hopefully we can find the Fiddlehead Fern. So that's one thing done that I wanted to do today. So now I'm actually going to go ahead and go down to the beach. Forage on there. Maybe do a spot of fishing. Is there any fish that we need during rain in summer? We need to we need to check this, just in case. We still haven't caught the tilapia. Is that at home? Maybe not. We can get this up until 2pm in summer and fall. And it can be any, any weather, I believe. It don't have to be raining for this. But I thought we'd uh, already caught that. So the walleye is the fish that we need to catch in rain, but not in this season. It is fall and winter, I think. So we can't get that yet. This is the one, the gold star shad. Spring, summer and fall, raining. And only up until 2 a.m. Oh, so it's all day. We've got a chance to get that all day. You know what, guys, we'll try and get that, that gold shad in the river. I think that'd be quite good to try and get. It's like an all day chance. We need either a gold or an iridium quality. So let me just go and try and find this tilapia first. Because we can... Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. We've got a field day here. On the beach. There is so much to forage. It's been a while since we came here. And wow. This is going to boost our income up to be honest. Let's go. Coral. Is there anything on this side? Oh, of course there is. Silly question. Look at this guys. There's so much stuff. Money, money, money. I'm glad I came to the beach today. Whew. Right, let me <laughs> let me try and find this tilapia. We've only got up until 2 p.m., so just a few hours, and then we'll try and get the gold star shad. That's our task for today. Look at the color of the water in summer when it's raining. It's like a green color. It's crazy. Oh, I see some bubbles. They've just appeared right here. This might be a good chance to try and get this fish we're after a bit quicker. Please, please be the tilapia. Yay, here we go, guys. We got it. I thought we already caught it, but maybe we sold it or we just didn't. Maybe I'm just completely losing my mind. But we did it. The tilapia is done. It's ticked off. Now, I don't like leaving these bubbles because it can be a great way of increasing your profit. But we, we do need to try and get this shad. I don't want to walk away from these, though. This is probably going to be that time where they don't disappear and they'll stay here all day. Because it knows I need to go and try and find a different fish in the river. We are struggling with space. Holy smokes. Right, I'm quickly going to go into the Willy, uh, into Willy's shop and sell the fish that we don't need to keep. So just the tilapia. Keep hold of that. Everything else can go. So much to forage. Look at that, guys. We're nearly on 2,000 already. Jeez. That's going to save us a bit of space. The bubbles are still here. Are you kidding me? Guys, the bubbles are still there. The fish are coming in so fast. I'm going to sell another round to Willie here. We've got some flounders. Loads of mullets and snappers. Keeping the tilapia, of course. We're on 2,400. And the bubbles aren't disappearing. But I want to go and get this shad. Ah, I think we should go and try and get it. Because if I do miss out and we don't get rain again. I mean, we have got the fall season. So it's not like desperately need to get it in this season. But I just want to take it off the list. I don't want to have to worry about it in the fall or winter season. 
Because that's towards the end of the, the little one year challenge that I'm trying to set myself. And I don't want to focus on the, the little things like that. So, let me try and get it. Let's see what we can do. Oh, completely wrong. There we go. So, gold or iridium, it doesn't matter. As long as the minimum quality is gold. That's all we need. Leah, give me the look. We need it. Come on. Could it be the first fish? First fish look. Nope, it's a goddamn pike. Oh, okay, guys, we've got a shad. Our first one. What quality is it? Yes, let's go. It's iridium. Now, we can actually use that one, like I said. It is asking for a gold star quality, but iridium's better, so why would they not take that? So, I don't think that bubbles are still going to be there. I mean, I'm going to check. Why not? If they are, that's what my night is going to consist of. <laughs> but we're going to donate all the stuff today. Yeah, they've disappeared now. So, I might get all the stuff for the bundle and go up to uh, the community centre and start donating it all, you know? Because we've got quite a few stuff now, and it'll be nice to see whereabouts we are and get some rewards, etc. So, let's pop back home. I need to plant these wheat seeds as well. And we'll take a trip to the, the CC. Ooh, wormies. Clay. Goddamn clay. We've got more mayonnaise here. Nice. We can sell that. Okay, let's store everything away. Oh, we've got some broken glasses. Put them straight into there. We've got the bait in there as well. So my little fishing chest. The wheat seeds. Now, can we... Have we got any space to plant these? Oh, yeah, all the melons. They was done today, so... Let's get these in the ground. Why not? Like I said, we do need quite a lot of wheat, so... It'd be good to get these planted. I'm not going to dig any more space. We'll keep these away. We've got 12 of them. And we'll plant them when some more things have uh, been harvested. Right, okay. Commune centre stuff. Let's go. Oh, I love Finn staying inside. I forgot to check the, the weather, didn't I? Sunny tomorrow. And fortune today was good luck. I could tell because fishing was very good. So, uh, we've got quite a lot of things here. The wheat we can't do. And we can't do the hops yet either because we've not got enough of those. But that should be good for now. Have a little late night trip. Shall we check the fruit bat cave here as well? Let's see what we can get. Oh, just one blackberry. Rubbish. And a grape. Let's go see if Linus is in his tent. I think he should be. We can actually give him this uh, blackberry. It's silver quality and I think he likes them. This is a great gift. Thank you. You're welcome, Linus. I'm happy by myself, you know. I don't need new friends. Well, I hate when you say that. Please tell me you're my friend. There she is, the old CC. So let's donate the fish first. The quality fish, obviously we've got the shad now. There we go, it actually works. We just need the walleye, which is, like I said, next season. And the ocean fish, there is the tilapia. So bundle complete, nice. What do we get for this? Five warp tokens to the beach, fair enough. So we need the tiger trout, which is also in fall. And there's the walleye. So guys, that's it, we need two fish. Walleye and a tiger trout, and the fish bundle is done. Absolutely amazing. Right, what's the bulletin board? Uh, die bundle, so that's one sunflower that goes there. There's the battery pack. We need one iridium. I don't think we've found one yet. Oh, there's the solar essence. We need the void essence or some slime. We can do that easy. We're quite close to the slime one, actually. Donating the parcels, look at that. Let's take a look inside here. Now we've got one apple, we can put that into the artisan bundle or keep it for the fodder bundle because we need three of them. And I feel like we can get something else instead of the apple, so I'm going to hold off and not put it in here. And we'll use that for the fodder one instead. So there's the melon and the tomato, we just need the blueberry which is going to be done very soon. And I think that is everything. That's all we can do for now, but uh, I'll take that. So we're going to head back to the farm guys and we'll uh, start another day. Oh yes, the farming made us some good money today. 3,181 in total. I'll take that. The 14th of summer. Let's check on the, the news, what's going on in the world. Tomorrow is going to be sunny. The Queen of the Source today. Oh, the Travel Lady's in town as well, right? Pancakes, nice. And the fortune. Oh, we got a very good fortune, everybody has. So that'd be a good day to go to the mines as well. Oh yeah, this is a good day. Look at this, guys. So, we've got a letter, the fried eel from George. Let's go, my guy. Also, Pam's got the quest for the pale ale. We've got a smelted of gold and a copper bar there last night. But this is a good day. Blueberries are ready. Now, we need a few of these. There's one. And one for this, yes, with the red cabbage. So, we need to keep two of those blueberries away. Oh, the star fruit's done as well. 
This is great. Hops, some more hops are done. It's a good harvest day today. Let's keep two of those away. We've got a gold star fruit. Now that'd be good to put into a, a seed maker to get even more star fruits because they're quite valuable. Now our hops as well, we managed to get a few more. So that should be the five that we needed. And there we go, five for the wild medicine bundle. Perfect. Now I'm gonna sell all the gold quality and the silver quality fruits. And we'll keep some blueberries to make some blueberry jam and wine and stuff like that. We'll keep 15 away for now. Finny boy! Let's put those away. And the maple syrup's done, guys, as well. We actually needed this for the artisan bundle. No, it wasn't for that. What was it for? The chef's bundle. There we go. That's what it's for. But we got it. Nice. Let's store that away just to be safe. And let's water these crops. The worst job ever. But it needs doing. Nobody else is going to do it, right? The sprinklers aren't going to work, so... If only Finn could use a watering can. He'd be the world's cleverest dog. And the handiest. <laughs> we could do with that. But we need to get ourselves a wife. And they somehow need to water every single crop for me. That would be very nice. Okay, I think I've just got these ones to do. And the crops are all watered and sorted. Let's give Finn a drink as well. Nice. Let the chickens out. Give them a good love first. We've got some eggs today. Nice. Boom, boom. All done. Let's put these large ones into there. Get the gold star quality. Mayonnaise. Okay, so we're going to the travel lady first. And then I'm going to head up to the mines afterwards. That's our day today. Let's see what she is selling. Super meal. Cave carrot, wheat seeds. No. Five tomatoes. A large mouth bass we don't need. Pumpkins we can get in fall. The winter seeds we don't need. Egg. Oh, a morel mushroom. And a coffee bean. Very nice. Could do that. We're getting some speed. But the morel. Do we need the morel mushroom? I'm not sure if we do. I think like that's the one mushroom we don't need. So we need a common mushroom. We can find that in fall just for foraging. We need one red mushroom. Should be easy to find. Maybe in a mine. One purple mushroom. And obviously five more purple mushrooms. So it's just the purple ones we need the most. So the morel mushroom is not needed. Just one red and six purple. And the common, but that's easy. That's a shame, he gave us the wrong mushroom. But you know, it is what it is, guys. So let's get back to the farm, get rid of all our inventory and get our pickaxe and our sword. And let's head up to the mines today and do a little bit of a progression down there. Try and get the next elevator unlocked. And hopefully, because we do need to try and find those mushrooms, get further down to the floors where the mushroom caves are. Chuck, chuck, chuck irons. Finn, you be a good boy and look after the farm. I counted on you today. I want to find Haley. I've got a sunflower that I want to give her. Isn't Haley's birthday in summer? We should really be checking that. Uh, a lost book. Some more sweet peas. I'm actually going to check when her birthday is. I feel like we might have missed it. Here's Evelyn. I'm actually going to give her the sweet pea. To make up for yesterday, we gave her a rubbish gift. There we go. No, don't eat it. God damn it, Sharky. Oh my, it's wonderful. That's very kind of you. Obviously, we've got one heart with her again, but we probably lost that last time. Help request board. Okay, what's going on here? Clint, 25 ores. We're going to the mines. Let's see if we can do it. I'm trying to find Haley. She's not on the beach. Got a rainbow shell, though. And a cockle. And a clam. She might be at the ice cream stand. Let's have a look. Of course she is. Flirting with Alex. Emily usually cooks dinner, but she makes weird stuff like... Qu quinoa? Uh, sunflower, there we go. Oh my god, this is my favourite thing. You're welcome. Please love me. What are we on? Haley's on two arts. God, she's, she's hard work. Oh, we just got the garbage hat. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever found that. Look, guys. Linus will love us. So a little animation there. Um, That's new to the 1.5 update, I believe. There's a chance of finding the garbage hat where the lid explodes and you can wear it. And look, we have now got the garbage hat. This might help us with Linus. It will soon be our best friend. Linus! Look, look what I'm wearing. Do you like it? This is an easier time of year for me. I don't have to worry about staying warm. Plus, the fruits of the wild are growing everywhere. Do you, do you like my, my hat? You've not said anything. I wore this just for you. Does it remind you of anything? I don't think I've got anything to give me either. Damn it. I'm sorry, mate. This hat should be enough. Okay, finally in the mines. <laughs> we might be able to get to 60. 
I get too carried away and distracted, guys. You know how it is. I try and put off the mines because it's not my most enjoyable thing in this game. I mean, I don't mind it. And I know it needs to be done. There's quite a lot of stuff that we need to get. But in the winter season is when I usually mine a lot because you can't really farm or do anything. So I feel like winter might be a good time for us to get really far down here. Oh, we got the ghost fish. Look at that. Okay, got an emerald from that. And away down. There's a ladder already. We must have a good luck day today. I feel like it is. I forgot <laughs> what it said this morning when we looked at the TV. Oh, crystal fruit. I think we need that for the bundle. We do. I mean, we can find plenty of them in winter, but you know, it's done. <laughs> one less thing to worry about, I guess. Let's try and work on these slimes as well, because we can get that 100 slimes. Which we need for the bundle. 100 slime. We're nearly there. I'll take all this iron while we're here as well. You can never forget this. It comes in handy. We're going to need lots of this soon. If we want to upgrade our tools to the next stage. Especially that watering can. But first, this pickaxe definitely needs upgrading. This is my next tool to do. Get it to the, the copper stage at least. Because uh, we're having a tough time now. So that's what I'm going to do after we've got the axe back. I'm going to get this copper one done. Okay, next floor. And the ladder is already here. Nice. We're going to need uh, one more after this. Oh, look at that. Plenty. We might have to hurry up here, though. Let's get down straight away, because we've only got, like, one or two hours max to try and find... Oh, it's one of these floors as well. I hate these floors. Come on, please give us the look. Oh, guys, it's looking like we're not going to be able to do it. Energy's very low. <sighs> look at that. One floor away, guys. Every time. Every time. I'm probably going to pass out, definitely, before we even get to the farm. But as long as we don't pass out in the mines, we should be okay. We're so close to getting down one more level. For some reason, that last floor, I hate those ones. They spiral all the way down to the bottom. They're very, very long. So many enemies, and you just can't find the ladder on them. If I had 99 stone, I would have crafted one of those staircases, but we didn't have enough. We're going to pass out just before we get to the farm here. As long as we don't lose any valuable things, I'll be happy. But we'll see, we'll see. We've got to level 7 farming. Nice, we've got the loom. We've not got no uh, sheep yet, so it doesn't really matter. But the level up is good. We've also got some money for the blueberries here. 1,689. And it's the 15th of summer. You know what? I'm going to actually play through this day as well. A little bonus episode here. Uh, our axe is ready. Don't think we've got, lost any money or any, any items. I'm not sure. We might have a letter though. So tomorrow is going to be sunny, okay, rubbish. Uh, today is a bad luck day. Maybe we'll just do a long day down the mines today. Ooh, some stuff's done. Uh, Linus, he found us. I approached, uh, I have no idea how much money they took. They ran away. But it seems like we've got quite a lot of money, to be honest. So I don't think we lost that much. So we've got a crystal fruit. I may as well put this away. Why not? We need it, so let's change our hat. I feel like we're getting bad luck with this one. <laughs> Let's put the garbage hat back away. We've got this clam to sell. Let's go and get our watering can. We can go and get our axe today before we go to the mines. That's what I'm going to do. And then you know what? At the same time, I'm going to spend money and get this uh, pickaxe upgraded as well. So maybe not do mining today. I feel like we're struggling now because the rocks are taking like three or four hits. And that's why I'm struggling to find the ladders. So yeah, we'll upgrade that in the same uh, time we'll pick up the axe. We've got lots of forage here though. Some corn's done. All the grapes, the spice berries. We have also got some more hops. Red cabbage hasn't done quite yet. It's not quite finished. Okay, let's see what we can sell and keep. I kept away the, the corn because we need this for the bundle in fall. Even though we can plant them in fall, but we've got it already, so I've kept it away. It's here in the chest. That's another one done. Let's get the can. The watering can. Oh, I've already got it. And store away all this fruit. Ready to start making some good stuff. Uh, spice berries, grapes, and hot peppers. Got some things for Linus. We've got a gold grape. I know he likes these. Uh, the wild fruits are his favourite. So, let's water these first. Let's get this over and done with. I'm excited to go and get my axe. And then, you know what, guys? We'll take a trip straight up. Hello, Finn. To the secret woods and see what we can find. Hopefully, some mushrooms or the fiddlehead fern's going to be nice. We're halfway through the season. So we've only got half a chance to try and find those five or six fiddlehead fern and possibly some mushrooms. Okay, crops are all water and sorted. Oh wait, have we done these ones up here? Sunflowers? Nope, and we'll give Finn his drink. 
Chickens have all been let out. Luckily, it was a sunny day. Uh, we've got some more mayonnaise to sell. Hopefully, we've got some more big, large eggs. Move out the way, you. Okay, we've got three. There's still one chicken that's only given us small eggs. So not all of them are giving us the large ones just yet. So one of the chickens is not very happy with us. In the comments, guys, who is it? Who is it? Which one's not giving us the, the large egg? Is it Coral? Pearl? Shelly? Or Ruffle? Actually, we know Shelly is definitely giving us a large egg because it's brown. So it's one of the white chickens, guys. Ruffle, Pearl, or Coral? Hmm. One of them's not performing as good. Okay, I think we'll go... Yeah, let's go and get our axe and upgrade the pickaxe. We're not going to go mining today because I need to upgrade it, guys. I'm struggling. Struggling with the mining. Got some gifts, though. If anybody wants anything, let's go. We only managed to get 6 out of 25 copper. And it's the final day today. So, uh, Hayden's birthday wasn't in this season. And, yeah, Sam's is coming up. I don't really care about Sam right now. <laughs> okay, free rainbow trout. 195. We'll see. It's doable. But the money's not the greatest. Only 195. Right, here's Clint. Let's take our axe. Yes, we've got the steel axe. Oh my god, our first steel tool. I'm happy. And then let's upgrade straight away the copper pickaxe. There we go, guys. We're actually onto something now. Getting these tools upgraded. That pickaxe is going to be perfect for when we start mining and getting further down into the, the levels. We can start breaking things a bit easier. Okay, so let's head to the secret woods. Why not? Let's see what's going on. Let's see if we can find anything that we need. Is Ailey at home? I don't think she will be. Nope, but we can now get into a bedroom though. Oh, ho, ho. oh, Marnie, I wanted to give you this egg. There we go. Thank you. Hey, farmer. So I stopped by Willie's the other day and bought a fresh red mullet. I've never seen one so fresh. So I cooked it up for dinner last night and it filled the house with a satisfying smell. It was a hit. Fish? He told me you caught it yourself. I'm impressed. Oh, so I sold it to him. <laughs> Anyways, I love animals, Mr. Sharky. If you treat yours well, I'm sure we'll become good friends. So you bought the fish that we sold uh, to Willie. Okay. So yeah, mine is only on one heart. Do we need, was it free to get into the be the bedrooms? So we're getting there, we're getting there. And here we go, the secret woods. We have been waiting for this moment. Let's go. Please be some fiddlehead fern. We need some, so bad. We can get these in the secret woods only. In, oh God damn, I ain't got a sword. But we have got a steel axe though. We need the slime jammer in guys. Yeah, Fiddler Fern can only be found in the secret woods or on the forest farm and uh, in the summer as well. So, straight away, I do see one. There's one up there, guys. This is good. It's a good start. <laughs> God, I wish I brought my sword. I keep forgetting about the slimes in here. I'm so used to having the slime charmer ring on my other save. Now, of course, the handy thing about the secret woods as well is the actual hardwood, which we need. We need 10 just for the construction bundle, which we've already got already, so that's good. But we can uh, use it for crafting as well and getting the horse stable, which would be very nice. Okay, guys, we've got a very good look. There's one for the lead fern here. There is another one there. That's two, and I see another one as well to this side. Let's get rid of these slimes first. There we go. Let's get this hard one as well. So I'm seeing three so far. That's a great start. And we've still got loads of the days left in summer. So here we go, there's another one right there. Thank you very much. And I think that's all there is. Oh, there's some bubbles actually in this pond here. But I didn't bring my rod, that's a shame. Okay, so free fiddle lead fern and lots of hardwood. I'll take that, that's a great day in my eyes. We'll keep checking this every single day now, part of our daily routine. So I think what I'm actually gonna do for the rest of today uh, we can't go mining, we've got no pickaxe. I'm just going to get some wood, normal wood, because I want to start saving up now for the barn. Barn's going to be one of the next steps to start getting some cows uh, for the milk, which which is good to sell, but eventually we need the, the goats, the sheep, and the pigs for this artisan bundle. This is one that's going to be the trickiest for us right now. Also... Honey, now that we've got our first maple syrup out of the way, the next one that we get, we can make a bee house out of. And we need to obviously get this before winter, because you can only get honey from these uh, in spring, summer or fall. So that's going to be another one for the, the artisan bundle, which we can focus on. So that's basically going to be one. The jelly is going to be another one, so that's going to be free, definitely guaranteed, because we've got that coming. 
And then we just need three more, which is obviously any of the fruit. We've, we've already got the apple, but we need three of these for the fodder bundle. So we need to try and get a cherry, a peach, an orange, or an apricot. Just one of those would be good because then we can try and get some of these. So it's it's going to be a bit of a hit and miss with this bundle. I don't know which ones we're going to get. We'll keep trying to see the travel lady, see if she sells a fruit or a cloth or anything like that. And obviously the fruit bat cave. But we still do need animals. We need the barns just in case we can't find the things from the fruit bats or the travel lady. And then we're going to have to start getting those things ourselves. Well, guys, it's safe to say we've got quite a lot of wood. 331. I spent the night doing that. We've got uh, no stamina now, though, but that's a good amount of wood. I can't remember how much it is to get the barn, the first barn. But we're definitely on something there, so that's pretty good. Now, let's shut this uh, coop just in case... One of them gets disappeared. There is a chance of one of them disappearing if you leave the gate, uh, the door open. Obviously indicates like a fox or some wild dog getting them. You do hear that sound if it happens. So, Fiddle and Fern do not sell those. Lots of things to sell. Just basically gathered some materials tonight. I've also managed to get ourselves 15 field snacks. Let's go. These are very good. These are one of my favorite things to eat. So easy as well to, to craft. Spice berry away. That gold grape's going to be for Linus. Let's make sure we put away the Fiddler Fern. One, we've already got one complete for the Chef Bundle. That's basically done. And then we need, obviously, three, three more now for the Wild Medicine. We've already got two, so we can get there. But you know what, guys? I think I'm going to end that one there. We've done quite a lot in this episode. This was a very big one, a little bit longer than normal. Hopefully, you guys don't mind. I think you guys deserve a longer episode because, yeah, it's been a few days since I've uploaded. Obviously, I've got a few series running on the channel right now. I've got the Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town, which is a little series that I've started as well in between this, which you guys seem to enjoy. And I've also been playing a few different games like Roots of Pacha. I've been doing a few videos on that. So at the moment, it's hard to put my time into this playthrough every single day because of uh, other things on the channel. But if you do enjoy this series, then make sure you stick around. Obviously, the uploads are still going to be coming for this playthrough so long. You know, we're going to be playing this all year long, guys, up until the next big update. We made 1,454. Not bad. And the next episode, we're going to be in the 16th of summer. We'll have quite a lot to do in the next episode. Obviously, our pickaxe is going to be done. We're going to start actually processing down the mines a little bit further. Hopefully, try and find those mushrooms. And look, our red cabbage seems to be done. So we can donate some bundles as well, it seems. And we've got to keep checking the secret woods, hopefully find the remaining things for the community centre, uh, work on our relationships a little bit more. And I'm going to start sprucing up this farm, you know. We'll get a barn eventually. Don't know where, where to, uh, to locate it. I'm thinking maybe somewhere around here, next to, you know, the coop. And this could be like a little animal area. Or we can keep the barn way over this side, you know, in the, like, the green area. Maybe tucked away somewhere down here. But this all needs clearing up. So we'll, we'll see. Let me know in the comments, guys, where do you think we should put the barn? Would you like it here on this green bit if we clear this up? Maybe in the corner here. Or next to the chickens quite close to home. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, guys. And the playlist down below for the whole series will be down there. And to some other series as well if you're interested. Make sure you all stay safe. And I'll catch you all on the next one, guys. Bye-bye. Say bye, Finn. Bye-bye. <laughs>